so that might be the circle. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please draw on me. Do you understand? Okay, it's gonna be square. Why only me? Please draw on me. Can you forgive me already? Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Forgive me! Forgive me! Why only me? You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me! Do you understand? Bad at this. We got us the actor, not the same person who did cover. All right, thank you. Oh, gosh, I'm already bad at this because my controls don't see the same, but my rhythm is off. I'm bad at rhythm games in this. It takes me a little bit to actually control. But if I, I have to focus on two things at once, it gets worse. I wonder if I use both hands to. This is my. Yes. We will never give up. I'll keep explaining it until you forgive me. Bad, bad, get the key. This truly. Sorry if I'm not looking at chat. I'm trying to. I I don't remember what the fever button is. I I'm very bad at this game because it takes me a couple times because I can't. The rhythm and how the beats are it isn't. It doesn't go up to me in my head. It takes me a while to in rhythm games like especially the vocal beat go game. It takes me like a couple of tries for me to be able to hit it just right. This is my. We will never give up. I'll keep explaining for you to stay. Give me 
Yeah, no, I, I, I can't um, figure out the beat. That's why. There's so much sound going on that I can't actually figure out the beat or time it just right. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Forgive me! Forgive me, boy, only me! You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me! Do you understand? Oh, no, what the fever button Forgive is! Me. Forgive me! Please, throw on me! I wonder if do you want this Oh, maybe if I... Oh, right. Button. Okay. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. That's how I do it. Okay, thank you. Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. You are done! Well, just... There's only one back. It's impossible to use it in uh, two places at the same time. There, Peter, bonus prize. This is the end. Monokuma mentioned this earlier. Oh gosh, we're almost there. Five hours of streaming. Here we go. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? It seems you say something about struggle is finally coming to an end. Yeah. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just I'm actually decent at the manga one, thankfully. Man, kinda, I gotta like the really kind of slightly messed up characters with questionable morals. Like Toko, and now Mikan. Mikan, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Oh. Let's see what we got. Oh, turned on. Oh no! Running over. Oh, that's the conference room. That's that shot. Oh no! So, oops. Birthday and my and my twins can. Oh, happy birthday to you and your twins! I hope you have a great day. Make sure to eat a lot of yummy food and enjoy the. And if you eat sweets or anything, enjoy it too. Oh, and thank you very much for the follow. case you're welcome the key to this incident is the surveillance camera video that only i saw 
That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to yeah, the I've been streaming for about five hours I now. A specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. When I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was a person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. I hope Econ says the moment why she did it. That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music video. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music video. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time, when in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music video and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. I guess just because it has a trigger warning. But other than that, I think this case, this trial has been honestly kind of fun. It's challenging. I've raged to it and such, but it's it, this one is one that kind of really makes you think. I think the only thing I don't. I think be, maybe because they put her as the killer. Or they have the, the suicide. The killer was likely watching um, the music that's the only two things I can think why people dislike it. I mean, I can completely understand um, in such. That's why I did before. I did a trigger warning so that way you didn't want to join to the stream. And as if they were switching uh, places with me, they went inside the music video. Uh, and began so just in case, just in case people aren't really uh, comfortable with the subject of self harm. So that's why I put the trigger warning there, just in case. Because I didn't know it was going to happen, and I apologize on the last stream for it. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper. I'll see the motive the soon. Post, revealing Kyoko's body. I think. Don't tell me the motive. I think the um my two motives are is that she had to was the nurse to kill off patient zero and all that, and then the second motive is because she was bullied so much. Those are my two ones, but yeah. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly Whoa. larger from the wall. Game skipped. Or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music video, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. They broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. Oh, thank you very much for the follow! The Fae Shroom. <laughs> Fae Shroom. Nice name. Like a fairy shroom. Fairy of mushrooms. killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Hibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that 
You're right, Mikan. This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time! Ugh. There was 16 phases in this? Oh my gosh, what was my lowest phase? Yeah, probably the last two, I don't doubt it. B! Damn. It seems your arguments have reached the conclusion. So let's proceed oh. to our regularly scheduled voting time. <sighs> now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Wait, off my shoulders. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Let's go! Oh, uh, I just have chronic migraines. But it's okay. Drug, some, at some point the drugs probably kicked in. I didn't want to drink too much water or else I'd have to pee in the middle of stream. I was able to do it one time because Kyo was here to be able to keep stream going while I had to BRB. Well now. Okay, back to voice acting. Water up here! Alright. Now then, though it may be obvious at this point, Correct. you got it right once again! It looks like three in a row! When in actuality is not, as I'm big fucking bagels. Oh, for three. That's right, the true identity of the horrifying black and who killed two girls was Beacon Sumiki. Damn it. You gotta be shitting me. What are you saying? Mikan, the one who nursed us back to health? Was the one who killed them? I won't Don't joke you. around with me, Mikan. Did you lie to us all along? Were you planning to kill them from the start while you were nursing them? <laughs> <laughs> Don't just laugh, say something. This is going nowhere. <laughs> What's going on? This chick. Hey, hey. Uh, this, is, this is nothing like Pekka. She's actually gone mental. There's nothing we can do. She's no longer the same person. She's no longer the Mikan Sumiki we knew. Huh? Hey. Based on my prediction, she might have caused it too. She's probably had the despair disease, which was the motive for the- Oh! She was sick the whole time?! What? Mikan too, you say? I... Well, it makes sense. She was around the people who were sick, and she could have caught it too, and probably made her go nuts. I know because I was looking at Beacon for so long. She was the one taking care of me after all. My cons just kept drifting. But even so, when I did, I catch a glimpse of her expression was full of despair. A despair devoid of hope that not even a single fragment of it remained. Hold on. Did you say Beacon also had the despair disease? Then that means she was... What? Huh? Hajime, so... so has something crossed your mind? My body's heavy. No, it's just a heavy. Someone's soft and really hot. Oh! Shit! That's- ugh, Fucking hell. That's the clue in front of my fucking face the whole damn time. No! The little sword! Hold on, I gotta pick this up before it gets broken on the- underneath my chair. Why am I so short? Okay. Sorry, drop something off. That's right, Mikan felt really hot at the time. Now I think about it. No, oh. That's right, Mikan felt really hot at the time. Now that I think about it, that must have been... I guess, but... 
I think it's, I mean, it makes sense why she did it. She was around the people who were sick. A high fever, just like what Ibuki and Akane had. It cannot be. Then, because of that disease, Mikon was... I don't actually hate it. It's the most logical thing. You get sick when you're taking care of sick people. I mean, I took care of someone for three weeks because... Well, three weeks to a month because they were sick. I didn't get exactly what they had, but I did get sick in the end. Because I was taking care of them. So it makes sense. Then... Because of that disease, Mukon was... Perhaps? The symptoms that she truly felt must have been deserving of the name Despair Disease. Losing all hope and harboring despair for all hope. Because of the despair disease, she was likely overcome with despair. See? That's the reason why she can still laugh in such a hopeless situation. <laughs> I'm gonna let her laugh for you guys. Jeez. Which means that Mikan standing before us is no longer the ultimate nurse. She's a completely different person now that she's infected by the despair disease. Isn't that right? She's a human who deserves to be called the ultimate despair. Ultimate despair. Junko! Welcome back. <laughs> I... That's the reason why I can't forgive this. I mean, killing for someone for the sake of despair instead of the sake of hope? Possible. There's no way I can forget that. Look, your morals are already kind of messy as it is, so. Oh. For the sake of despair? <sighs> oh, that's completely wrong. Huh? Wrong? Wrong? What's wrong? What I did was for the sake of my beloved. Beloved? Huh? I mean, to be honest, I like Junko, so. Huh? Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> if only they knew they were still... Were, if only they were still alive, they'd be so happy. I know. My beloved was the only one. That's right. The only one who... Never hated me. They forgave my existence. They forgave me and accepted me. Sorry, I had to do something. They loved me. I loved them with all my heart. And they returned it in fall. This is my reciprocation. Uh... Who loved you, though? <laughs> I understand that I've done something unforgivable. But you know, you know, to transcend all that is truly... Love. What love is all about. Hey. I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, you don't understand what she's saying? Gosh damn, half the time we don't know what you're saying. <laughs> you don't understand? Is it because you don't have anyone to love? Is it because you're also someone who isn't accepted by anyone? <sighs> I mean, that's true. What a pity. I feel sorry for you. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty floored by that response too. Nobody here would understand, but love is a wonderful thing. Ugh, this feeling of freedom where you no longer care about anything. <laughs> My beloved and I are the only ones within a thin veil, and I'm just looking out through it. <laughs> That's why, as long as I, I'm on the inside, as long as I'm on the inside, no matter how much they tease me, splash me with water, and kick me, how it's like amazing. nothing matters. I could just die. That's how little it matters. Who cares about hope and despair and love? It's love, only love. Could it be? Nakito, is there... 
Is this really the despair disease you were talking about? This is... Weird how she doesn't say who her beloved is. I mean, I hope we find out one day. It seems uh, I was wrong. Not only how she is affected by despair. <sighs> You're half right. It's right to say that this is all thanks to that disease. Because thanks to that disease, I was able to remember my beloved. Remember? <laughs> Apparently that's what my symptom was. <laughs> what a wonderful symptom. Which means you had the remembering disease? What? But it doesn't mean she remembered something and end up like this. Are you saying we were all like this from the start? We were, were you like this before you even came to the island? <laughs> oh, that gets so angry. Well, first of all, the reason I became this way wasn't my fault. It was all your fault, you know? Well, you know you're a masochist, but chill. I think she's the ultimate masochist. Mikon, please answer me. Did you really remember? You ended up like this all because you remembered? There's no way. I can't believe that. There's no way. The person who you are right now is the real Mikon. <laughs> oh, you still doubt me? But to prove I remember, I'll tell you all something nice. <laughs> about the World Ender organization that you all were worrying about. Are you serious? And you know? <laughs> no. Nah. But no, I just remembered, that's all. I knew about it all along. How that horrifying organization known as World Ender is also known as the Future Foundation. Oh no, I remember something from the anime about that. I'll have to go look up her Japanese laugh. Future Foundation? Future... That's right, that symbol on the ancient ruins door. That's right! It was the Japanese word for future. Okay. Just what is the future foundation? What are they planning? <sighs> As the name suggests, the organization is World Ender. The future foundation is trying to end our world. To put it simply, they're trying to claim the world for themselves. This is bad. What the heck? This isn't a comic book, you know? <laughs> As part of their plan is a the end of world, the Future Foundation brought us to this island. I had so much Mekon fan art and custom sprites. I still love Mekon. Hmm. Isn't that right, Monomi? Mm. Oh. oh no, I knew it. No, I knew it. Monomi, Monokuma, they're both members of that crazy organization, aren't they? <laughs> Monomi and our entire members. Ah. My existence is entirely on my own. <laughs> Don't copy her. Hey. Don't laugh. Hey, Mikon, if you really do remember, I already know, right? You already know the true identity of the traitor hidden hiding among us. <laughs> uh, of course I know that. Let's see, the future foundation lackey that's hiding among all is. Huh? Oh well, no one really cares about that, don't you think? Of course not. Ah, hell no. I'm so tired. I'm gonna head out. Good night, everyone. All right, good night. Rest well. Yeah, it's pretty late. Like I said, I've been doing the stream for a little bit. <laughs> You'll eventually find out, so there's no need to be so impatient. 
proudly when that could when that continues in countdown ends countdown you even know about that no. I don't know anything huh I have a feeling that that's what it's about but who cares about that you know <laughs> I'm drowning in so much love on the bottom of my heart I just don't care about anyone else anyone or anything that is Mikon, is that really you? I won't believe it. There's no way I could believe you. You were like this all along? Because if that's true, then who's the person who's been spending time with up until now? The past. The past? That past, she didn't exist in the beginning. She's just my past self who lost her school memories. <laughs> <laughs> you guys... <laughs> you guys consider that thing a friend? Oh. <sighs> it doesn't make me happy at all. This just fills me with despair. You guys accepted my past self, but not my past, not my present self. That's well. Oh, well, that applies to you as well. Memories of people, memories of events, whatever the memory is, losing memories are. Do you understand? Like losing your personal identity. That's why. Dog and Roper really likes doing this. They want to lose our personality identity. Memory is the most important component in building a person, don't you think? Losing our memories makes us shadows of the past, don't you think? Hey. I don't know what you're trying to say, but in the end, it always sounds like it always leads back to the story that the story about ourselves stole. Hey, hey. So, I was true out how long memories were taken away. Damn it. Yeah, if it wasn't true, why, why wouldn't I be suffering this much? Well, why don't you just take your sweet time and remember at your own pace? Huh? Oh, Monica, is it alright for you to start now? Yes, indeed. Punish it time? Damn it, why? Mikon, why does that have to end like this? It's, it's too pointless. This is too much. Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. For the ultimate nurse, Mikon Tsumiki. So it's over. It's really. Now I can go to my beloved, who always forgives me. I can finally see them. Please forgive me. The one who's going to die with the hope of finally seeing you. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Oh gosh. Let's see what he prepares. <laughs> gosh, and I really liked her too. Damn. Oh, Dr. Killgood. Here we come. Or is it Nurse Kill? Bye bye, ouchies. Um. What's going on? Shot. Oh. Blasting off into space. Team Rockets blasting off into space. Oh my gosh. Wonder what we kind of souvenir we get from her now. It's finished. It is it really finished? Fader <laughs> Fistinator. This killer who killed Ibuki, Yodota, and Yoko's Sanji was Mikan Sumiki? Yeah, she's been executed. She apparently committed her crime because she was afflicted by the despair disease. So what? What's finished? Nobody wanted it to end this way. Let me ask. Who was that Mikan from earlier? Was that her true form or was it self of symptoms of despair disease? <laughs> Doesn't matter either way. She ended up like, uh, like that just from remembering. Then all along, Mikan was never worse being a symbol of hope. But 
Even if her words were influenced by the despair disease, if the disease turned her into that, she lost herself into a simple disease, she was definitely unworthy of being a symbol of hope. Isn't that right? So, let's just move on. <laughs> Come on, let's take all this despair and change it into hope. Please wait! Oh, that's, imp that, that's impossible. I mean, I thought we were friends this whole time, but even so... Like a house of cards for laughing in an instant. In the end, our friends we thought we knew ended up showing us a completely different side of herself. Then she vanished from our sight, leaving behind only her malice towards us. And now, there's no way she can just move on and try to have a clear cut attitude about these feelings. That's clearly impossible. Damn it. it would have been so much easier. If she was the traitor, too. Wrong. Too bad that's not the case. Beacon's not the traitor. Come on. The traitor is still alive. As proof, see how fine one of you looks right now. <laughs> oh, not fine at all. Hmm? But the traitor died. But if the traitor died, you're gonna be this calm, right? I mean, you both. You're both pawns of the future foundation, so you guys are like two hearts beating as one, right? You fiend. What? What does that make you fiend? Did you... Excuse me. Did you say that you're different than Monomi? Who cares about who I am? More important, I'm tired. Bro, me too. I'm almost streaming for six hours. The drama that just kept going and going. I didn't even have a time to eat my black bean right eye... My, eat my black bean right eye during the break? What? Hey. Oh, I just made a black bean! to focus on that what are you trying to say hey um you know it, isn't it sad that uh isn't it said life has ups and downs it's fun because downs come after us but if life was full of downs wouldn't it get boring yeah. so in order to keep you guys feel better i prepared a special event special event <laughs> the kubaru possibly Head over to the First Island's beach. An old friend will be waiting there. Old friend? Huh? Could it be Nekomaru? Hey! I is it? Isn't that is Nekomaru safe after all? Hmm. Um, safe? Hmm, how should I say this? Hmm. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that crazy bastard Nekomaru would be coming back to us in one piece. <laughs> one piece? Draven! Get, don't give it up, Luffy, Draven! Don't give it up, Zoro, Draven! Don't give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, no! Uh, yeah. So, anyway. Awesome. We're starting to see the light of hope. Um, the light of hope? Um, I'm happy Nakamaru's turning to us, but... But I... So just as I thought... Three of our friends just died, so I honestly cannot be happy. Hmm. <laughs> Miss Sonia. However... Even so, I'm still happy. If Nakamura is safe, I'm truly happy. Fine. If you are happy, then you should honestly greet them with open arms. Perhaps those who have been taken from from us would do the same if they were still alive. If they still lived. <laughs> they still alive, I was about to say. <laughs> hey. Yeah, hey, Supreme Overlord who gives who gives a shit. That line doesn't suit you at all. Silence! I will crush you in the dust! Um, I Ibuki, Hiyoko, Bikon, can you hear us? If you're unhappy, I apologize. However, please forgive me for right now. I want to warmly welcome Nakamaru when he returns to us. You don't have to worry, Sonia. I'm sure your feelings are reaching them. Right? Then let's all go greet Nakamaru. Let's make it grand even if for those who have died. <laughs> yep. Huh? What the heck? Why don't you still have the after effects of that disease? I don't get this at all. Akane, uh, I don't think you're faking it. That's your... I'm afraid of commitment, bro. You literally watch one... Uh, no, I honestly didn't. I actually haven't watched One Piece. I watched it when I was younger, but that's about it. I don't remember much. All right! I only remember the four kids opening. 
Alrighty, let's go. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. He's returning quickly as he left. Nakamura's coming back. When we heard that, we were unable to contain our excitement as we jumped into the elevator. Uh oh. And they all like, ran away. They just ran off without listening to what I had to say. Unbelievable. Jeez, they're so impatient they didn't even learn to stick around until others have finished talking. Um oh, what does that mean? Hey! You you're plotting so you're plotting something again, aren't you? No way! <laughs> I'm not plotting anything. I was just trying to properly explain everything to them. Including Nekamaru's body. Hmm? Huh? Nekamaru's Body? <laughs> it's their fault for not sticking around until they finish talking. <laughs> so if something happens because of that, I bear no responsibility. <laughs> oh, what did you do to Nekamaru? What's this? What did I do? I just saved him, that's all. I mean, if I didn't do that, there's no way I could have saved someone who was that close to death. So, just couldn't be helped. <laughs> did you? Did he stick him on a plushie? Like, is he like the size of Chucky now? As soon as we exited the elevator, we started running. Hurry! To the beach of the first island! Alright! Alright, let's haul ass! Even though our minds were completely exhausted, strangely enough, our bodies felt light. It's because a huge ass weight has been lifted off our shoulders. Trust me, I'm feeling it right now, too. Without stopping for anything, we kept on running toward the beach on the first island. Where, where in the world is Nekamaru? Hey, hey, Nekamaru, show yourself! Listen. We have come to pick you up. Please hurry and come out of hiding. We raised our voices. We looked around the area. We raised our voices again. We looked around the area again. I fired, then I missed, and then I missed, and then I fired. I fired, then I missed. And so on and so forth. We kept looking for him, but hey, hey, what the hell? He's nowhere to be found. Damn it. Huh? Could it be that we didn't? Did we get false info from Matakuma again? And then that's when it happened. We heard a familiar voice echo through the beach. <laughs> Pause here. What happened? Were y'all looking for me? Could it be that that voice? With high hopes in our hearts, we turned around the direction of the voice, and then we saw something truly unbelievable. Huh? What the? Yo! I've kept you waiting. Hey, uh. what's going on? Perhaps you don't remember my face since we haven't seen each other in a while. Um, I don't think that's it. That's pretty sad, you know? That's too much! <laughs> um, who are you? Huh? You too? What's going on? What's if going you're on? Messing with me, I'll stop doing it to you. Um, we're um, all confused. Nekomaru, haven't you noticed it yourself? What do you mean noticed? Some brain of a mirror. You mean this body? <laughs> this is nothing. Oh, what the? Nekomaru, I've been reborn in the rivers of hell! What the flying fuck is this? <laughs> the flying fuck are we looking at? days left 14 hours 34 minutes and 14 seconds nine student wait nine days Oh, we got a nurse's apron. Oh. We were hoping things could progressively go smooth. 
That's right. Common ordinary progressive just fine. Like, for example. Uh, okay. Actually, we're gonna... Okay, we're gonna do when it says the start of chapter four, and then we'll stop. The enemy's lair crumbling right after you defeat a final boss. <coughs> okay, I'm done. Sorry for sneezing. Suddenly reappearing. It would have been just fine if things had progressed like that. Thank you. The kind of old school progression we were hoping for. Not the original turn events. Thank you. <laughs> It's okay. I've said, um, I've been told before if I sneeze more than once, so like, uh, if I sneeze three times, kind of thing, bless you, bless you, no, three times, four times, or is it two or three, I forgot, bless you, bless you, you're possessed by the devil. Not an unreasonable turn of events. The name's Nekomaru Nidai. I've been reborn in the rivers of hell. Uh, Nekomaru? Is that you? <laughs> No matter how you look at it, I'm still me. No matter how we look at it, this isn't you at all. Uh, fully agree. There we go. Jeez. Okay. We are gonna save it here now. Okay. Oh my gosh. Hold on, I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, I was gonna transfer you over to someone who's also doing some spooky games, but looks like they stopped as well. Okay. So I was gonna do a raid on them. But, oh my gosh, that one, that trial? Holy crap! It's just, we rest uh, we rest rest well I'm gonna do my closing and then we'll uh then I'll log off but oh my gosh that was so long five hours but basically six hours of streaming this will be fun to edit but oh my gosh that was so stress inducing and crazy um that I definitely did rage I guess the killer Ron again but yeah Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that was insane! That case was crazy. I couldn't make up anything and just, I I'm speechless by this case. I can see why people hate it, but I don't see the hate. Like, I I cannot be someone who hates this case. I think everything was good and it kind of opens up more eyes and everything. It does confirm that why the creators like it is because the memory wiping thing and like uh, your personality is built on memories and such so yeah I, I can't blame them but I think I could see why people dislike this case um, but everything else I I think this was just beautifully done it confused it threw me through a loop and I didn't understand I honestly I was with the other people too I didn't want it to be me Conley because I loved her so much but gosh oh my gosh just all right we're gonna do another stream tomorrow hopefully we get closer to being affiliate either one more day or so but soon we'll be there don't worry crew all right have a good night please rest well agent midori signing off bye